So let's take a look at how we get data that we may have in a spreadsheet or some other place into a format that Weka can use. Weka has its own format called ARFF, A-R-F-F. It's pretty easy to work with once you know what goes in there. So what we're looking at here is an Excel spreadsheet with the data from the example that we did on whether or not to go to the beach. I can highlight the data here. I'm just going to copy and paste it, but you can also save this as a comma separated or a tab separated file and then open it up in your favorite text editor. This is small enough that it will be easy to copy and paste. So here I have it pasted in. It's automatically tab separated for me. Now what we want to do is surround this with the information that Weka needs in order to read the file. So there's three parts that we want to add here. The first line always starts with an at and then the word relation. And then we give it a name. So here we're going to call it beach. You can use any word that you want that's just going to describe what it is that you're trying to predict. Uh, it should be one word that comes after relation, but you can use underscores or put a bunch of words together. Just don't put any spaces in there. Above your actual data points, you're going to use at data. And that tells Weka that everything that comes afterward is the actual data points. And then in between the two of these, we want to describe what the features of our data look like. So here we have three features, uh, the conditions, the temperature, and whether or not we go to the beach. Each of those features has to be named, and we put the type of it. Those all start with the word attribute. And then we want to put them in order that they appear on the line. So we have condition, temperature, and whether or not we go. And so we want to list them in that order here. So the first one is condition. Now, we don't call it condition down here. We don't have a header. So you can kind of make up whatever name that you want. But it's good to keep it descriptive because this is going to show up in Weka later on. You're going to use it uh, to kind of understand the models that are built. Since this is a nominal attribute, uh, that is, it has categories, we follow it with curly braces and a list of all the possible categories. It doesn't matter what order you put them in. So put sunny, cloudy, and raining. The next attribute that would show up on the line is the temperature. So we do attribute temperature. And that's just a number. So we use numeric. Uh, these are reserved words in Weka. Numeric is reserved. And then finally, we have whether or not we go to the beach. That's a yes or no. So we have an attribute that I'm just going to call the class. That's not a special reserved word, though. So you could call it beach going. You could call it whatever you want. And again, because it's uh, nominal, we're going to put the two possible options. The capitalization here does matter. So yes and no. And that's it. This is what an R file looks like. So we have relation as the first line, and then some name that's going to describe the general thing we're trying to predict here. This word does not need to match anything else in the rest of the file. We have a list of attributes. They'll start with this thing, attribute. Then we give it a name, and then we have the type. If it's nominal, we list the possible values. We do that for all of them in the order that they're going to appear with the data points that we give. And then the list of data points has at data in front of it. These are separated by tabs because I just copied and pasted it out of Excel. But you can also have them comma separated. You don't need to indicate anything to WEC about that. It uh, understands how to break up that data that it gets. So once you have this, you're going to go ahead and save it. I'll save this in my videos here. And we're going to call this beach.arff. ARFF is the extension that you have to have for Weka to be able to read your data. So we're going to save that. And then we can go over to Weka. And let's go to the Explorer. We're going to open this file. And here it is, beach.arff. And we see that it's been imported here just fine. We have the condition, the temperature, and the class. We can see how it's all divided. And we could just do an initial test to see how well it can be classified. So let's just do a naive Bayes. We'll do cross-validation on this for now. Start it. And we can see just with the data as we imported it, uh, it does a pretty good job. We have correctly classified instances of 81.25%, which is great. Our ROC area under the curve is 0.937, which is excellent. Um, so this data by default 
you know, it was created to make it easy to build a model, and in fact, it's doing a pretty good job. We're going to investigate this model a little bit deeper in the future, but the point of this exercise was to get you familiar with this R format, and here you go. This is what it looks like.